and gentlemen, good morning, and welcome to the 13th annual Johns Hopkins Autoimmunity Day. I'm Noel Rose. I'm the director of the uh, Center for Autoimmune Disease Research. So uh, we're going to be looking at many different examples of autoimmune disease, both from a very basic point of view and from a clinical point of view. But the theme running through all of the day is that formally and informally, as we have our talks or as we, uh, we meet in the, uh, in the lounge between times, uh, we want as much communication, interaction, collaboration as possible between people who are interested in different forms of autoimmune disease. And um, we'll, have, uh, we'll see at these uh, gatherings the opportunities to expand our knowledge and look for the, uh, the features that underlie all of the autoimmune disorders. That having been said, we'll get started with our first uh, talk of the uh, morning and one of our featured uh, guests and the chairman of the morning session is my colleague, Dr. Patrizio Cattaregli. Good morning. I also extend my welcome to this uh, Johns Hopkins Autoimmunity Day. It really happens to have the opportunity of introducing a speaker of the caliber of Dr. Unanue. If I can quote the word of my good colleague, Sherazad, she said that Dr. Unanue stands to immunology as Picasso stands to painting. So, <laughs> quite important. Dr. Unanue uh, obtained his medical degree from the University of Havana in Cuba, then moved to London for a two years fellowship in the Division of Immunology led by John Humphrey. It was there that his love for macrophages and antigen presentation began in the mid-1970s, at the time where uh, immunology was preoccupied mainly with uh, antibodies and lymphocytes, but not really with the cells that actually stimulates the lymphocyte. Dr. Unaune and co-workers show that the macrophages uh, do not destroy protein antigens completely, at, as it was uh, believed at that time, but rather are capable of uh, stimulating uh, specific immune responses to these antigens. In the late 1970s, he then moved to Boston to work in Benacerra's laboratory at Harvard, uh, using mice and uh, Listeria monocytosian bacteria, he was interested in tracking the fate of uh, these antigens within peritoneal macrophages. He showed that uh, macrophages ingest bacteria and very quickly present uh, Listeria peptides on their plasma membranes, and were, these peptides were capable of activating T lymphocytes. So basically, if you want to say in just one sentence, his work laid the foundation for our understanding of antigen presentation. These findings were confirmed uh, using a simpler, uh, better characterized antigens, the Hanheg lysozymes, uh, with co-workers Bruce Babbitt and Paul Allen. They show in vitro that synthetic HEL bound to purified MHC class two molecules in a one-to-one -one ratio at saturation. So basically unraveling what the true function of MHC molecule is, which is to bind peptide. In the early 1980s, he moved to Washington University in St. Louis, where he continued his work on the, this field and is now the chair of the Department of Pathology and Immunology. His work more recently has used a model system of uh, type 1 diabetes, and the title of his talk today is Antigen Presentation in Autoimmune Diabetes. Dr. Unane, thank you. 